Hi guys, today I'm going to make one of our family favourites, which is a fish pie. I mean, it's classic comfort food, so we all really like it in the family. It's something like a Saturday meal. If we're going to watch The X Factor, we get a fish pie. And Jamie likes to add baked beans, but he's got another recipe. But I've got one that I do for my children, which is kind of simple, a bit similar, but um, all the children absolutely love it. They do actually love fish, which is quite handy. And it's kind of a quick dish, and there's not a lot of washing up, which is perfect. I'm going to use about a kilo and a half of potatoes. Um, I've already peeled and chopped into like two centimetre chunks. They boil for about 15 minutes, so about eight minutes before they're finished, add your eggs, because that saves on using another saucepan and wasting time, and they can just share the potato water. So I'm going to use four eggs. You don't have to add the eggs, but it's so delicious. Jamie's family have always cooked it like this, so it's kind of passed down, so it's quite a nice little tradition. So now I'm going to make the really delicious creamy sauce, which is kind of like the base of the dish. 50 grams of butter. Start on a medium heat, first of all, and then 50 grams of flour, which is going to make the posh name the roux, but, or roux, but I'm just going to call it the, the mixture. I've actually got just plain white flour, but you could use gluten-free, actually, because my daughter's gluten-free, so we would normally use gluten-free. While my butter's melting, I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves, which kind of, it's quite good to add them early, so it gets the most flavour out of them. Make sure that you get all your lumps out. I've got 350 mils of milk. And slowly stir in. Add 350 mils of fish stock. You could just use a stock cube, or I've actually had this from the freezer, so I've just defrosted it, and it's it's going to come really handy with this one now. I'm going to bring it up to boil, and that's when you know that will trigger the flour, and that's when it'll start to thicken, and you'll recognise it as a nice thick, creamy sauce. It takes about 10 minutes. Keep stirring this a bit. It's obviously got the milk in. So I'm going to take my potatoes off. They're definitely ready, and my eggs. So now I'm going to wilt the spinach. We're giving it a quick wash. So, but not too much, you don't have to add too much water, it'll be really kind of soggy. Should take a couple of minutes to wilt, very quick. Take my eggs out and drain my potatoes. Let the steam go away, because if you mash with the steam as well, it's going to get a bit mushy and you don't want that at all. You kind of want to have that lovely crispy potato. And then the eggs, run them under cold water because they're going to be a little bit hot. Just so I can peel them a bit easier and a bit quicker. Cut and quarter. Jamie would die at that, that's just terrible. Anyway, no, that's my version of eggs. <laughs> you can see it's getting much thicker, actually. So I'm going to have one teaspoon of mustard. Don't be frightened, because if you've got children who don't like hot, you can barely taste it. It does add a bit of depth to the sauce, but you can use a slightly, you can use a Dijon mustard. So I've got 50 grams of cheese. Just use half to grate in now, and you can use half of the topping later. Just grate this in. Mix it all in. Then you just need a juice of half, half a lemon. And a trick Jamie taught me, you know, you just put your hands there and then you don't get the pips in. And you have to have actually really strong hands. Chop some parsley, just the top bits, not the stalks, because they might be a little bit crunchy in the dish. Stir in again. I absolutely love pepper, actually, so I'm going to add some pepper. Just a little bit. And then that's basically your sauce. So once your cheese is melted, which you can see mine definitely has, that can come off the heat. So onto the main part, which is going to be obviously the fish. I've got salmon, which my kids absolutely love, naturally because it's pink, especially petal. We've got undyed smoked haddock, which is really nice, and uh, coli, or you could use cod or whatever is sustainable, but they're all really nice. That's about um, 300 grams of coli, 200 of the haddock, and 200 of the salmon. And I'm just going to cut it into square chunks. This is obviously all fresh, but you can use frozen. There's some great frozen mixtures in the supermarket, kind of ready for whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah, well, I'm using a fork. Apparently, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use a fork because I like to be... This is Jamie would love to have kind of a bit of stability, you see? So make it nice and simple. Maybe it's the way my mum used to do it, I don't know. So this is skinless, you can see, and boneless. And you know, that obviously, you can't get every single bone out, but I like to check, especially for the children. There you go. So all I've got left to do now is mash my potatoes. Could use a little bit of olive oil. I like it a little bit, not lumpy, but a little bit kind of messy looking. I'm going to grind a little bit of nutmeg in. A bit more mashing. So that's basically everything done separately. And now I've got to just assemble it, shove it in the oven. I'm going to use my family size baking tray. So first of all goes the fish on the bottom. You can place your eggs kind of evenly around, so they're all bunched in one place. Then it's the sauce. So give it one little bit of whisk, because obviously it's going to have a bit of a skin on top because it's been sitting there. 
and then pour over. Then I have my spinach. All the ingredients are warm at the moment because I'm going to put it straight into the oven so then it's fine. But if you want to cook it fresh later, I'd leave all the kind of ingredients separate, then assemble it when it's all cool, put it in the fridge or the freezer. So, but as I'm going to put this in the oven, it's fine. It's all gone in warm at the same time. So now I've got the mashed potato. I did add pepper, but I didn't add salt. It's not really necessary because you've got the flavour of the mustard and the cheese. I don't really like to use a lot of salt, especially when I'm cooking for the children. Put a few little peaks in, they catch the heat and they get the really crispy, crunchy topping, which I know the children love the most about the fish pie. I'm going to grate some cheese. This is the rest of the half of the 50 grams we used earlier in the sauce. So that's it done. We're going to put it in the oven for about 45 minutes. And I've had my oven preheated at about 200 degrees. You'll know it's done when you see all the lovely sauce bubbling over and the cheese getting crispy and brown and the potatoes looking crunchy. Oh my God, that looks so good. You can tell because all the mixture's kind of bubbling away and it's all coming out, so it's looking really good. So this one I'll do for little buds. So you can see all the spinach and you can see a bit of the egg. I think. Luckily, I've evened it all out, so each portion, hopefully, will get a bit of everything we put in. It's so creamy. So this is, gonna, this is like an adult portion. Add some peas, or whatever vegetable you choose to do. Bud's really likes peas. Looks absolutely delicious. It smells amazing. Give it a quick taste. Check out it all right. That's really good. Absolutely delicious. That is going to be really nice on Saturday night. Please give it a go because it's such a tasty dish. Um, and let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you think below. And uh, please try out other really cool dishes on uh, Family Food Tube.